over to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your mono strap bustier dress with flay okay and this dress i'm going to be attaching my ultimate sleeve which i have a detailed tutorial on how to achieve that in order for you to watch the video please click on the notification bell so that you can get notified once a video pop up okay so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your mono strap bustier dress with flay now there are two types of flay basically you have like your half flay and your full flay and it all depends on you so the question here is what do you consider in order for you to know the kind of flay you want to cut for your dress now the first one is the length how long do you want it to be how long is your flay another one is the amount of fabric you are also working with so the amount of fabric you are working with will totally depends on the kind of flay you have to cut for a dress is it half flay or is it a full flay your amount of fabric also will determine that and also the length of your dress and this is because for an example if you are making use of african prints whereby the length of the african prints is basically 45 inches and the length of the flay you want to cut out is maybe 35 inches you will not be able to achieve that on a full flay using your african print so in in that case you have to like make use of your half flay especially if you are working with six yards of fabric do you get so the kind the amount of fabric will determine the type of flay and also the length of the flame another factor to determine what kind of flay you want to cut out is how full you want the flay to be right do you want it to be a full flay do you want it to be half Flay, it all depends on that so these are the factors to consider in order to determine the type of flay you want to cut out in a dress now our monostrap bustier dress what are the basic measurements required shoulder measurements bust waist hip and our gown length so our shoulder measurements is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 inches 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 i have 10.5 inches my waist is 30 inches 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches 9.5 inches the hip is 38 our hip we have 38 inches 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches now for our gown length our gown length is 60 inches now from our shoulder to our knee length which happens to be where you are going to have your mono strap bustier effect we have 35 inches so 60 minus 35 we have 25 inches so we'll go ahead and add one inch to our sewing allowance we have 26 inches so this means that for the lower part of our dress where we are going to have our flay we are going to have 26 inches inches for the length you can add two inches to this okay while for the upper part where we are going to have our mono strap bustier dress we are going to have 35 inches so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your mono strap bustier effect now i know you might want to ask me what about your nipple to nipple what about your shoulder to under bust what about your shoulder to half length mm -hmm. you can basically achieve all this if you know your distance calculation now i have a detailed tutorial where i explain distance calculation how to know the distance from your bust to waist your waist to hip your nipple to nipple and all of that so you don't need to go through the stress of getting your shoulder to nipple your shoulder to under bust i have a detailed tutorial on how to achieve that which i'm also going to be showing you guys when we are cutting the the dress so feel free to watch that video if you don't know how to achieve it i'm going to put down the link of that video in the description box below you can check it out and learn how to achieve your distance calculation in the course of this tutorial please if you have any question feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topics you want us to make a video on and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial 
hi guys so we are going to make use of this african print to produce our one shoulder bustier with mutton sleeve okay so please make sure you watch the video on how to achieve your mutton sleeve so that you can be able to attach it to your mono strap mermaid dress okay so now but the first thing we are going to do now is to first draft our pattern before we cut directly on the fabric so the next first thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark our basic measurement to mark our basic measurements now we have shoulder to arm o nine shoulder to bust nine and half shoulder to under bust 13 and half shoulder to waist 17 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how were we able to come across all these measurements i have a detailed video where i explain distance calculation i'm going to go ahead and put down the video in the description box below so waist to hip 9 inches and waist to knee length we have 17 inches so i'll go ahead and you know take the measurements again shoulder to arm o nine shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 inches waist to hip nine inches and waist to knee length so i'll go ahead with my pattern master and connect the lines together Connecting the lines, this is what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement. So my dart is four inches. I'll go ahead and mark my dart measurement four inches. Once I'm done, I will connect the lines together. I'll go ahead and connect the lines together. On the waistline, I'll mark half inch on both sides. Half inch on both sides. I will connect our waistline to our bust line and I also connect the waistline to the hip line. Now because our mono strap is going to have a bustier, we'll go ahead and extend this dart line to our shoulder, extend it to our shoulder this way. On your under bust, go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. On your under bust, mark half inch on both sides. So you go ahead and connect your under bust to your bust. So you go ahead and connect your bust line to your under bust, and then your under bust to your waistline you connect it making use of your pattern master and pattern masters are available at our store and this is what it looks like so once you are done connecting the lines this is what you are going to have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder that so from this shoulder line you go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder and you connect it to and you connect it to your bust line five inches to your shoulder and you connect it to your bust line and this is what you are going to have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your bust measurement so our bust measurement is 10.5 we go ahead and mark 10.5 inches our waist is 9.5 we go ahead and mark our waist measurement our hip measurement is 11 inches we mark 11 inches now you are going to deduct one to two inches at this lower part and it depends on how pencil you want it to be okay so you deduct one to two inches you can deduct two one and a half or one inch at this lower part so once you are done now you basically go ahead and connect your bust line to your waistline waistline to hip line this way and then your hip up to your gown length so this is what we are going to have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder but before we mark your shoulder please go ahead and close your shoulder that once you close your shoulder that this enables you to have the exact measurements okay now on your shoulder now you go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements which is seven inches seven inches 
I will go ahead with my arm o curve and connect my shoulder to my bust line this way. This is what we are going to have. Now, don't forget that what we are dealing with is mono strap with a mouton sleeve. So we are going to have a did another video on mouton sleeve. Please check the video out. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out and then I'll show you guys how to achieve your mono strap effect. So guys, this is what we have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to op open up this lower part, right? Because of course, our mono strap only affects the upper part. So you can see that I didn't cut out my arm or I just left it this way. So I'll go ahead and set this aside. So guys, now we want to cut out the back block. So for your zip allowance, you can make use of one inch to two inches. It depends on what you want. So I'm going to make use of one and a half inches for my zip allowance. One and a half inches. So once I'm done, I will go ahead and connect the lines together. That the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your dart measurement. So our dart is four inches. We have four inches for our dart. If you have any question, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section. Okay, on your waistline, you go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. Now, the reason why you are marking half inch on both sides is because of your dart allowance, right? So you go ahead and you connect it together and this is what you are going to have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your measurements so our bus measurement is 10.5 we go ahead and mark 10.5 our waist is 9.5 inches our hip is 11 inches so we took away one and a half inches for the front block we are also going to maintain that at the back block so once you are done you go ahead and you connect the lines together please if you have any question in the course of this tutorial feel free to drop your questions in the comment section okay this is what it looks like so the next thing we want to do now is to mark our shoulder measurement our shoulder measurement is seven inches go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement seven inches then go in with your arm or curve and connect the lines together so once you connect the lines together this is what you are going to have for the back block i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys after cutting it out this is what we have so for the mono stripe effect i'm going to explain that on the fabric and i feel like that is the easiest method for me to explain it so that you guys can understand so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so guys now we want to cut out the flare part so the first thing we are going to do now is to fold our fabric into two after folding your fabric into two you go ahead and fold your fabric into four to give you your triangle shape now the next thing you are going to do now is to place your tape measure where you are going to have your hip measurement so we are going to have our hip measurement around this point so you go ahead and mark that place your tape measure on this edge and check out what you have we have 12 inches turn it this way 12 inches turn it this way 12 inches once you are done you connect the curve together so this curve should be equal to your hip measurement right so now you want to get your length the length of your flay place your tape measure at this edge and measure what you have so from this edge now we have 31 inches so you also place it at this point at the upper side and you check out what you have you have 43 inches so maintain it this way move your tape measure to this side move your tape measure to this side and measure where you have 40, 41 inches so you also move your tape measure to this side also and measure where you have 41 inches so once you are done you are basically going to connect what you have at the lower side together and then you go ahead and cut this out 
So now we want to cut out our pattern and when you are dealing with dresses that has flay Please ensure you cut out like the flay parts before cutting out the other part of your fabric So go ahead and fold your fabric into two After that place the lower side of your front block this way And then you go ahead and cut this out to give us a single piece so guys, for the upper part of the back block, I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. After that, I have placed my pattern paper on it. Now, I know that what we want to achieve is our mono strap dress. And this simply means that I haven't gone ahead to cut out our armhole and also our neckline. And this is because for me, I feel like it's easier to explain how to achieve your mono strap when we've transferred it to the fabric, okay? So what I basically did now was just to fold my fabric into two go ahead and place my pattern paper on it and cut it out please note that i did not cut out the arm o and this is because that for your mono strap the other part of your neckline should be like a tube effect so this is what we have we'll go ahead now and set this aside why for the front block also we've also gone ahead now to fold our fabric into two we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two so we basically like just cut out where we have our dart and you also discovered that for the front block also we haven't cut out the neckline we've not gone out to cut out the neckline and also we've not gone out to cut the arm o and this is because i am going to explain how to achieve your mono strap later on once i have joined the fabric together this is the easiest way for me to explain it especially for beginners you are going to find it very easy to achieve your mono strap this way so i've placed my pattern paper on it you can see i've gone ahead now to cut this out so after cutting this out for your front block this is what is going to look like so you're going to have one piece this way and the other piece this way so this is what you're going to what is going to look like now what you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and attach this together to give you what you are going to have so what you are going to do now is that you are going to go ahead and couple this up to give you a single piece so once you couple this up to give you a single piece then i'm going to explain how to achieve your neckline and also how to get your arm out so we've gone ahead now to attach this to give us a single piece but i also ironed like my paper state is just to make it you know firm and stronger so we've gone ahead now to attach this to give us our single piece so i'll fold it into two now so this is at the point where we are going to achieve our one shoulder okay mono strap so you go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurement so fold it into two mark your shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement now is seven inches so this is where we have our shoulder measurements This is where we have our shoulder measurement. So now you go ahead and mark your arm O. So our arm O is nine inches. Our arm O is nine inches. So you go ahead now and draw your arm O curve. Connect your arm O. So you open this up now. By the time you open this up, okay. So you, next thing you are going to do now is you go ahead and mark your neckline. So the wideness of your neckline totally depends on how wide you want it to be, right? So for the wideness now, I'm going to make it of three and a half inches for the wideness. So this is our neckline, this is our shoulder, and this is our armhole. So you go ahead now and you open this up. So once you open this up, the next thing you are going to do now is to determine how deep you want it to be. How deep you want your mono strap to be and that depends on you. So I'm going to be making use of six, okay, five and a half inches. Five and a half inches. I want it to be this deep, five and a half inches. So I also measure it at this point. So what you are going to do now is you're basically going to connect this um, neckline up to this point right so at this side now you go ahead and mark your arm o nine inches so you basically connect your neckline up to where you have your arm o so connect it this way you can see what it looks like let me just come over and explain it again what we did was that we folded our front block into two 
fold it into two go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements mark your arm or connect your arm home mark your neckline so once you open it on this part that is going to be your mono strap you also go ahead and determine how deep you want it to be and also where you have your arm hole so you just connect your neckline basically to your arm hole it's very simple so you go ahead now and cut this out if you have any question you know feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so automatically you can see what this looks like so we're also going to go ahead now and cut off this part right so this is what it looks like you can see so this is what it looks like you can see like where you mark your neckline up to where you want it to get up to you go ahead and connect it and then you cut it off so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and cut off your arm o okay so you go ahead now and cut off your arm o so you can see what we have so this is our arm o and you can see the neckline of your mono strap so what you are going to do now is very very easy so this is what it looks like you can see our mono strap effect so let's go ahead now arc block now for the back block we've also gone ahead to you know couple this up to give us a single piece and the reason why it's necessary for you to use one piece to achieve the second piece is that it enables you to know what part should be your what part should be your normal shoulder and what part should be your off shoulder right because if you if you didn't place it on each other you might end up cutting like your shoulder on different parts what i mean by that is this so for our front block you can see that our shoulder was at this part if you cut it at this part of your back block it's not going to rhyme so go ahead and place it on on the back block okay that's if you started from the front block so go ahead and place it this way so once you place it you know that what you want to achieve your normal shoulder should be at this part so this part now is where we should have our normal shoulder so let's go ahead now you know and explain this again so that you guys understand better so from this point now which happens to be our middle line we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements which is seven inches uh, shoulder measurements which is seven inches from this point now you go ahead and mark your arm o which is nine inches uh, arm o which is nine inches you go ahead and connect it together you can see what it looks like so from this point now we also go ahead and mark our neckline so we made use of three and a half so mark our neckline also so this is our neckline so you also determine how deep you want it to be so we made this of five and a half inches for the front block we also mark the five and a half inches at this point so basically connect this to your neckline you can see it's very easy connect this to your neckline and then your mono strap dress is ready so this is what it's going to look like and by the time you place your front block on it you will discover that your shoulder falls on the same side your shoulder falls on the same side of the dress so go ahead now and cut this out so guys once you are done this is what it looks like you can see your mono stripe effect and by the time you place your front block on it this way you will discover that the shoulder falls on each other so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section so the next thing you are going to do now is you are basically going to go ahead and turn them with your lining but before you turn it with lining please go ahead and lose you know this part so that you can have like a different piece and then you turn it with lining and also you go ahead and turn the front piece with your lining so guys after cutting it out this is what you are going to have you are going to have one single piece for the front block so i'll go ahead and notch this part which is the upper part so for the back block also you are going to fold your fabric into two place your pattern and then you go ahead and cut this out so once you are done this is what you are going to have you are going to have two pieces for the back block right so we'll go ahead now and set this aside 
So for the front block, the lower side of the front block, we've also gone ahead to cut out our lining and then we've turned it with lining and this is what we have for the lower side. While for the back block also, of course we have two pieces for the back block. We've also gone ahead to turn the two pieces for the back block up with lining. So. The next thing we are going to do now is to achieve our mono strap effect for the upper part of the gown. So guys, after joining it together, this is what we have for the back block. So you can see we've gone ahead to fixing our zip and this is what it looks like. You can also see our mono strap effect. Why for the front block, we've also gone ahead to attach the upper piece to the lower piece. We've also gone ahead to attach it to give us a single piece. So what you are going to do now is place your front block on your back block and then you go ahead and take your measurement. So our bust measurement is 10.5. You basically place your tape measure this way and mark what you have. So guys, this is what it looks like. You can see a mono strap effect and you can see at the lower part now, we went ahead to attach our flat to it and then we have our full mono strap bustier dress. And I also made a video on how to achieve this mouton sleeve. You can see what the mouton sleeve looks like. Look at the way it's standing on its own. So if you're interested in learning how to achieve this, please check the link in the description box below and go ahead and watch this video on how to achieve your mouton sleeve. You can see it doesn't have any elastic at this part and it is also puffy and it stands well this is what it looks like so if you're interested you can go ahead and watch that but this is what we have now for our monostrap bustier and also our flay at the lower side so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial look at the way the fabric is popping okay please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so for the back block now this is also what we have you can see your mono strap effects also and thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye